When discussing cases with a colleague, the ideal format is the SBAR. SBAR stands for S, situation. Who are you? What is the name of the patient, their NHI number? And what is your role involved with this patient? B stands for background. What is the patient's background? What is the date of admission? Uh, the diagnosis that's been made, management to date, a brief summary will suffice. A stands for assessment. What are the patient's symptoms? What are the test results? Uh, what is your diagnosis of the current situation? R stands for recommendation. Based on your assessment, what do you feel needs to be done? And most importantly, what is the priority? How quickly does this need to be done? The last R stands for response. And that is, what is the outcome of your discussion? Has the team agreed to do what you've asked them to do? Are you happy with what they've agreed to do? And is the time frame appropriate? Thanks for that, Holly. Okay, Kylie, as day med reg, have you got anything to hand over to the night reg, Connor? I've just got one patient to hand over to you, Connor. Um, her name is Mrs Williams, and I'll give you the NHI. It's Alpha Charlie Hotel 0000. Uh, she's on Ward 2B, and I saw her as a ward review about half an hour ago. Uh, she's a 34-year-old woman, and she was admitted to hospital earlier today with uncontrollable sneezing seizures. Sneezing seizures? It's a real thing. Holly's been calling them sneezures. Her sneezures are complicated by projectile medication, incontinence and terminal irritation. She was diagnosed with epilepsy about 10 years ago and normally it's well controlled but unfortunately she ran out of her medication about a week ago. Um, Holly called me to see her tonight because of new right groin pain. Her sneezure frequency hasn't improved and now she's developed an irreducible right femoral hernia. So far I've charted her a loading dose of phenytoin and I've asked the surgical registrar to come and see her urgently. Um, but unfortunately she's caught up in theatre. Um, have you heard about the case, Brock? Uh, yeah, I know that patient. Um, the day reg handed it over to me, so um, I'll go see them. Is she fasting? Anything she's eaten since yesterday has come straight out her nose. So yeah, she's fasting. <laughs> Just make sure you cover your mouth and nose. She can also have some rectal diazepam between the seizures, but make sure you stand to one side in case she sneezes again. <laughs> She hit another patient in the face the last time she had one. You can also try some buccal metazolam if she can't tolerate the enemas. Christy, would you mind checking in with the nurses on the ward to ensure that they know how to draw up the drug for the infusion? Yep, no problem. I'll go straight up. Has anyone got anything more to add? Okay, we'll finish here.